Salute Warriors again. Welcome. Paragon Abba goes on his knees, salutes the crowd, has what has spritz on him by his comrade. Garakwachindo, the champion of Danvis, and circles his opponent like a lion out to out of Philo, carrying up his uh, comrade in the person of uh, Abba, you know, Paragon Abba. Cheering them on to get ready. This is a match to behold. Very interesting turn of the event. I'm Antonio Keleke, your guide in the world of Dambi. Well, Garikuachindo. And Abba, Abba news in front of Garikuachindo. I'm sure he's excited and happy to be fighting Garikuachindo, the, the king of Dambi. Abba has been on the road lately, securing wins after wins back to back. So, definitely, it should be a very interesting one. Excited. Uh -huh. And they salute each other by touching fists and uh, spears, and it begins. Abba, Bagon Abba, the left-handed fighter, Bagon means uh, left-handed. Kerkua struts towards the musicians who begin playing the Kirai and the Take Take, which is like a praise chant for warrior he has drawn energy and he returned energy into those drums it's a spiritual connection only the fighters and the drummers understand this is dembe for you he returns again i think the first one wasn't enough okay let's see the champion gets salutes and salutes Let's go! Five guys! Come on! It's getting already tense. Abba not to be outdone. Receives energy from the drums. In exchange, oh, he gets a cash gift as well. It's a system whereby the, the gyration feed into the energy of the drummers and in exchange the drummers to beat on those drums where the draw strength from out. And they return. You know, in Dambi, there's a lot of rituals that go on. This is one of those rituals, particularly when you have a senior boy match like this. Two strong, uh, formidable opponents. And he starts. Gerikuachindo touches the sand under his feet and rubs it against his spear. This is uh, for the on the scanning eye. This is a pattern you will get to see regularly in different formats. You know, it's a spiritual connection that activates superpowers. Yes, you heard that right, superpowers. The myth of the amulets given to them by their yeah, spiritual healer and holy men. Some are visible, some are not seen. They just need to know how to activate it. Touching the earth, the sky, the sand is a pattern to ensure that once that fist touches the opponent's face or body, he gets down on his knees or flees flat. Gerko watching the Grumada receives a left hook from Abba. That was very intense. Which starts and Abba tries another lock. Gerko watching though has gotten the match he wanted. He was looking for a worthy challenge out why. Found in the person of Abba in this arena of fire. Abba missed his hand. Strikes two left hooks, follows by a back hook again. The crowd are just cheering or like clapping at every point that happens, whether he makes him part or not. And Abba swinging that hook again, hits Garukua, st struck again, struck another left to Chindo is uh, a bit disoriented, but let's not write off the champion yet. Champion grabs him in. And an uppercut to break around the left hook again from Abba. Pretty exciting electrifying atmosphere already. And the left hook, very good done in slow motion style by Abba. Gerkwa Chindo slams and returns the favor, strikes it again. Abba swinging left right, making sure his opponent is kept at bay. And the right hook and another uppercut there from Gerkwa Chindo who dived into his opponent. Referee keeping a very close watch on activities. Pro fighters still engrossed in a fist of scuffle. And the right hook there from Gerkwa Chindo. The fighter stepping quickly to drag Abba away. Gerkwa Chindo struts away from the sea. The crowd erupts in the chair. And that is how a fight of champions takes place. That was Abba's move there. A very good slow motion that you know was power packed pushing Garikua Chindo. Garikua Chindo returned that favor in his own time. Two quick successive throws. You see 
I got to feel running into rescue Abba fighters from the house of Jamus. They go watching though. <laughs> the champion. You don't mess with the champion. That is why he's a champion, eh? This game is just getting started. The arena is lit. Everyone is just excited. Watching the champion grace the presence of the arena of fire. Nonetheless, they are proud that their own champion too, you know, one of the champions, Abba, is uh, putting on a great display. At least he survived the first round against the king of Dambi, who is getting money rain. Oh, both fighters are actually getting the money rain right now. Friends, relatives, you know, actually take time to come, take pictures. Look at that. They are actually like groupies. You know? I, I tell you, this is a champion, Abba. If you want to take pictures with him. Abba continues to receive money gifts while you know calculating those struts towards the musicians. Getting ready again for round two. Uh, I can understand Abba getting money because this is his home ground. Nonetheless, Gerkwachin is a very, you know, as a champion, he's more of an itinerant fighter to keep moving and gracing his presence in arena across the country. People want to see him, want to meet him, want to fight him. Gerkwachindo. Let's go, keep getting the money ring. Another very beautiful ritual in Dambi. Let's go. Abar. Let's go. Yes. It's a fight to the death. Literally, and the return for the second round. And let's see. Abba Shagon on the color shot of the house of Jamus. Gerkowachindo, the king of Dambi. Seri King Dambi. The house of Guru Mada fighting in the arena of fire. Spectators holding their breath and the uh, referee only keeping a keen eye over activities. Two fighters continue to size each other up. Let's go. Let's see what happens next. And he lunges at Abba. Unexpected. Abba receives one to the jaw again. He missed the shot and paid dearly for it. Lucky he's still standing. Oh, two quick successive shots from Gerkua Chindu. It seems Gerkua is back to the basics, eh? Of giving an opponent merciless beating. Abba needs to sit up. You could tell that his comrades are ensuring that want to ensure that he doesn't get knocked out and will run in to save him just in time. He keeps taking those blows to the head. Gerkwa Chindo seems to have uh, rejuvenated his style, being more you know, swifter than Abba in crossing an embrace. Referee breaks him. I see how Duanta Filo is trying to step in. The referee cautions him. So continue this. How Duanta Filo steps in again. And pleads with uh, Garuko Wachindo not to, you know, finish his comrade. <laughs> okay, uh, they, they, you know, it's a, it's a pattern, you know, for Abba to even stand up to Garuko. First of all, it, it boost his morale, boost his reputation in this arena, and uh, for him to have uh, held on to Garuko Wachindo for two rounds further give him more bragging rights for a very long time nonetheless it was a very good match uh, his performance there the champion showed us why he was still champion Nura Mahokatin you know begging for <laughs> fights just pushed aside and is appealing to the spectators to bring him in now, Sigurd Guachindo is pulling Abba back in, telling him let them finish what they started. He really obliged, but so that fighter stepped in to break that. It's good to have that bragging rights. But then, Gerkwa returns to the musicians. So they switch the play for the fighters. They switch playing their praise chants, individual praise chants. 
If Garikuwa goes there, they play his praise chants. If uh, Abba Shagun goes there, they play his praise chants. It's a pattern, you know. They continue doing bragging rights. And Garikuwa says, okay, let's fight like men. Abba is telling him nothing, you know, like, more like, <laughs> I stood up to you for two rounds. The crowd is, is loving this uh, bragging from both fighters, and it is just a beautiful sight to be old. This is damn big. Nothing short of premium content. Awesome view. May the feast of damn big be with you. Thank you.